In this one, I'm going to be sketching damped functions. Uh, now, you've seen a damped function before. We've talked plenty about exactly what they are. Uh, so we're just going to jump straight into sketching one. Now, the way that I would like to do this is create a rough one first and then uh, go from there. So first thing I'd do is probably just look just at the periodic function first and then deal with this guy later on. So sine 2x, that's going to have a period equal to 2 pi on b, which in this case is 2. So the period is going to be pi. So roughly this is going to look like between negative pi and pi sine curve. So up to pi there and to negative pi there. And the amplitude of that thing is just 1, negative 1. So there's our periodic function. Now we've got to deal with it if it's got that exponential bit there. So I've drawn up my axis here, x and y axis, and we're going to go from pi to negative pi. And it's probably important as well to uh, put in your quarters here. So pi on 4, pi on 2, and 3 pi on 4. Uh, because of that periodic function, you're going to want to know where each, what each quarter is doing. Now that we've got this nice little, little uh, axis there, now we just look at e to the negative x and we sketch that in. I'm just going to sketch it in pencil so you can see what it looks like. e to the negative x is a decay curve that looks like that. So there's e to the negative x. I'll draw a neater one later on. Uh, and then a mirror image of that because we don't just want to sketch e to the negative x. We also want to sketch negative e to the negative x. So I'll just try to do a nice mirror image of that. Alright, so then we're going to get a periodic function. It's a sine curve, so it's going to go up to here, meet that point, down here, meet that point, oh, sorry, down here, down here, meet that point, and then back into the middle again. And it's going to go down to here, back into the middle, up to here, uh, back down here. But unfortunately, we've got a small problem that we'll have to deal with. Um, we really want to know what that point is, what that point is, what that point is, and what that point is. So we just need to sub in pi on 4 into there, 3 pi on 4 into there, uh, negative pi on 4 into there, and uh, negative 3 pi on 4 into there to find out what those values are. Alright, so I found my four values here, 0 0.45, negative 0 0.09, 10.55, uh, and negative 2.19. Now, the only other interesting values are here, that's positive one, and here that's negative one. Uh, now, obviously this is not to scale. Uh, there's one, there's 0 0.45, there's uh, negative 0 0.09, which is incredibly small, 10.55, which is quite large, and negative 2.19. So I'm going to sort of try to redraw this as well as I can so that all of these things are to scale. This is the best I've been able to come up with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Remember our highest number was like 10.55. That's going to go way off the page out to here somewhere. Uh, but that's, that's the limits that we've got because we need to go down to that half, that 0 0.45, and then all the way down to negative 0 0.99 here. Uh, so we are going to sort of fly off the page, but that's fine. So after that, we just need to redraw our sine curve, starting from the middle up to that, that max there, down into the middle again, uh, down to that zero point, negative 0 0.09, and then back into the middle. And you can see it's sort of, it's going to eventually end up at zero. It's reaching a limit of zero there. And then off into this one, there's our negative 2.19 over here. So down to there. This is going to get really, really large really quickly. Back into that middle. Way off into space. 
um, and it's going to sort of go off the page here. That's fine. Goes way off the page and then comes back down through space down to that negative pi. Okay, there's our sketch. It's really as good as you're going to be able to do with these things. Because of that exponential nature, you're always going to end up sort of flying off the page on one side and coming down into, into a limit on the other side. Done.